Being the oldest neighborhood in the hub city, Nanaimo's South End has had its share of social and economic challenges over the years. I think it's partly why we're such a strong neighborhood is because we've, we've had to face a certain amount of adversity. We've struggled with many of the issues that inner city neighborhoods across Canada have encountered. The community is under two square kilometers in size. A seldom used railway defines its western boundary with an industrial waterfront to the east and downtown Nanaimo, its other neighbor. The great majority of people who live in this neighborhood, who care about uh, the community, who uh, enjoy being in good contact with one another and uh, who are invested in, in, a, in a hopeful future. And, you know, that's, that's really where our energy goes, and I, I think that's been uh, a very uh, productive strategy. Residents have taken action over the past few years, aided by the South End Community Association, to work positively to address the challenges that have come up and create favorable changes. We've uh, worked to establish, you know, good contact with all sorts of agencies that interact with the neighborhood. It's a forum for concerns. Um, it's also a forum for us to uh, organize events that bring the neighborhood together. This was a park that was under a lot of pressure um, a while back, and we decided that we were going to really invest in, in this park. If you look around the park, it's full of color and art, um, and uh, it's a place that's safe where uh, children in our neighborhood love to come and uh, it's become a, a, a very important sort of symbol I think um, for all that's good about the neighborhood. Parks and Recreation put the new playground in and have really upgraded it. The murals were painted, the artwork, all of that has given a message that this is a neighborhood that people care about. Where once grand houses of the coal mine managers sat next to the tiny cottages of the mine workers, the area fell into decline during the 70s, but in recent years has become a vibrant community. I think we're seeing more and more evidence of uh, folks who are investing in their homes, taking more pride in their homes. We drive along Halliburton Street several times a day on our way to and from home, and so we've seen the changes over the years and the spectacular improvements. The success at creating a positive identity, great place to live, work and play, could land the South End neighborhood on the list of winners of the Canadian Institute of Planners Great Places in Canada contest. I think it's just a great example of a neighborhood that's working hard at uh, being all that we can be. Canadians from across the country can vote for the People's Choice Awards in each category. The South End of Nanaimo is vying for top neighborhood. It's got everything you possibly want. You can go to the ocean, the parks, everything's available and every, all the people are trying very hard to make it a better neighborhood. It's a real family oriented place and it's a joy to be here. For me, I just love the, uh, I love the neighborhood. It's close to where I work. I can ride my bike to work every day. I've raised my children here and we've had a fantastic experience. Uh, we've got great neighbors, friends. Being part of this uh, community effort has been very rewarding to me personally. Um, so, you know, for all those reasons, I'm a staunch South Ender and uh, proud of it. A panel of planning experts will pick the great places in Canada for 2014. Voting ends September 25th in Nanaimo. I'm Annette Lucas.